Drake's fourth studio album views as an absolute production masterpiece with so many things us as producers can learn from. Since its release in 2016, it has earned its spot, becoming the third most streamed rap album of all time. And if you look at the track list, it is insane how many hits there are. Like many of Drake's albums, Views has it all. From the dance hall afro tracks like One Dance, Controller, and Too Good, to the dark trap beats like Hype, Still Here, and Pop Style. Today, we're going to be breaking down some of our favorite tracks from Views to figure out how the production on these songs turn them into absolute classics. Let's start with Pop Style, a classic rap anthem and one of our favorites from Views. Turn my birthday into a lifestyle. A lifestyle. Tell my mom I love her if I the first element that sticks out is obviously that dark, evil, and repetitive piano loop, which has likely been sampled from something. But let's jump into our version of Pop Style where we made the piano from scratch. So, firstly, to create this piano melody, we've got our tape head preset from Labs and played in this pattern with our MIDI keyboard. For effects on the piano, we've got a vinyl, two EQs, and a convolver to get that sample sound just like the pop style piano. We rented the piano out, pitched it down five semitones, and then chopped it up in slice X. We rented that piano chop out, added a simple EQ, and this is what our final piano sample sounds like. Pop style, they've got a dark ambient vocal that's complimenting the piano. So we wanted to recreate this, but in our own style. Marcos recorded these vocal chops in. We added these effects onto them to go for that airy and dark ambient vibe. And now, here's what it sounds like. Now that sounds pretty good, but we wanted to take it a step further. We pitched it down one semitone to match the piano and added these extra effects on. And now it sounds like this. The piano and vocal are the only two elements of that first part of the sample, so let's jump into the next part. In pop style, the sample transitions into a second section with a gritty sub bass and some new dark textures. Yeah. Dropped out of school, now we done rich. We made a secondary piano for the breakdown of the sample, which sounds pretty similar to the first. The only thing we changed is we took out the bass notes and focused on a new, higher counter melody. Following a very similar pattern to the original piano, here's what it sounds like. That piano has the exact same effects as the first piano. Just like we did with that first piano, we've chopped it up in slice X and pitched it down four semitones. Finally, we added these last three effects to make it sound like this. Next, we added a gritty sub bass using the preset Wave Bass from Analog Labs. We played in this pattern, and this is what it sounds like. This next element we added is an accent from our soon to be released Sound Bundle Alchemy. No effects added to it, we just left it how it was. The last element for the second section of the sample is also from Alchemy. Here's what it sounds like with no effects. Finally, to finish off our take on pop style, we added this drum bounce. Obviously inspired by Boy Wonder and Noel 40's production.
That's it for our take on pop style. The last thing we added was just a drum fill right before the drums come in. So here's the final beat. That pop style remake turned out crazy. Now let's take a look at the production on another one of our favorite tracks from Views, Child's Play. I say bounce that shit like whoa. Yeah, bounce that shit like whoa. The first thing we added were these electric guitar chords, which Marcos played in with this. For effects on there, we've got an EQ, reverb, chorus, and an effect rack, just making the guitar sound as clean as possible. With all the effects on there, here's what it sounds like. To complement the electric guitar, we throw in this accent from our upcoming kit, Alchemy. No effects added, just how it is. Again, coming from Alchemy, we've got this bass one shot, which we added following the bass notes of the guitar. No effects added to this bass, this is what it sounds like. The next element that we added was a vocal. However, this isn't a vocal that I'd usually be using in a sample. I searched up vocal in the bottom left of the screen and this came up. There's a cold front coming and it's all hidden my way. Obviously, we're not gonna be using those lyrics for the sample. However, that first part sounded pretty cool, so I chopped it up like this. For a fix on that vocal, I've just got a reverb and an echo boy, giving it lots of space and a little delay at the end. Coming in for the second part of the sample and the intro is this warm pad. We use this preset from Analog Labs and throw in these effects to get it sounding as warm and smooth as possible. To finish off the first part of the sample, we made a very similar perk loop to the one that's used in Child's Play. We added some reverb and EQ to it, and here's what it sounds like. For the second part of the sample, we introduced a couple new layers. The first new layer we added was an accent from our kit Alchemy. Here's what it sounds like, no effects. Again, coming from Alchemy, we've got this guitar accent, which we added in. No effects, here's what it sounds like. The final layer we added was this accent from a random kit we found. We've got a reverb and an EQ on here, and here's what it sounds like. To finish off our whole take on Child's Play, we throw in these very similar drums, including the Vox, just like in Child's Play. Those are all the elements to our take on Child's Play. We've got heaps of stuff from Alchemy there, so make sure you check out Alchemy below.
years on and there is still a lot to learn from the production on views. Hopefully some techniques in this video inspired you to make some cool music. Follow us on Instagram for more. Cheers for watching. We'll see you in the next one.